The role of mindful mechanics is to establish balance and to give students a space to ask questions. So in mindful mechanics, there's a lot of dialogue, workshopping specific pieces, breaking down poses that are common to other fast, high intensity classes in the studio. So it's a space to get some balance, to get your questions answered. And I think that serves really well as a cross training studio as a whole to um, have those lower intensity days and get people training with low, mod, high throughout their weeks. I think the benefit is that those who are new to movement entirely and come in totally overwhelmed by all the new information are able to slow things down, to ask questions, to get into the little pieces. And then those who are experienced and are attached to moving fast are disciplined to stay a little bit slower and get into the nitty gritty. My favorite tool is the Atom. So the round kit as a whole is super, super beneficial and can be used in all sorts of ways. I'll use the little guys for long drive commutes and even have it on my back to give my back a little bit of release as I'm driving. But the Atom is a really accessible tool since it's thicker and higher off the ground. It's a little bit easier for being in tight positions or hip flex positions, but you can use it everywhere from your calf to your hips, to your obliques, your abdominals, your armpits, all sorts of stuff. So it's definitely my favorite tool. It's really universal. As a structural integrator, I practice structural medicine. The theory is that you increase your capacity for strength when you increase your length. So when you do myofascial release work, you open up the space for a muscle belly to actually be used to its full capacity. So I think that it helps with all of this circumferential, three-dimensional range of motion of strength training and weight training that we do, that we carve out more space for safe movement.